morning rounds, the brain-gut connection. If you've ever felt anxious, you might have said to yourself, I've got butterflies in my stomach, I can feel them. But groundbreaking studies find your tummy might be upsetting your brain. By changing the bacteria in our intestines, we could alter our mood and our behavior. The new research might transform the way we understand and treat a variety of mental health issues. Our Dr. Holly Phillips is with us to explain what this all means. And right before, during the commercial break, Holly said to us all, this is a big deal. Because most people don't see a connection between your brain and your belly. Right, right. You know, Gail, it really is a big deal. It's sort of an, an exploding area of research, and we refer to it as the gut-brain axis. So, you know, basically our gut, or, you know, our intestine, we refer to as our, as our gut, is our second brain. It has millions of neurons, and it has more neurotransmitters like serotonin that affect our mood. It has even more than the brain itself. Mm -hmm. So the way the theory works is, you know if you've ever felt emotionally upset, right. you feel it in your stomach, yep. whether it's butterflies or nausea or stomach mm -hmm. cramps. Well, researchers are now honing in on the fact that it's a two-way street. If your digestive system is upset for some reason, you may feel it in your brain. And maybe it manifests as emotional pain or mental illness or anxiety or depression. Hey, this is really interesting, and I'm encouraged because the, the, the brain and the stomach actually speak together, because I find they have different conversations. <laughs> one usually tells me to do one thing, one says do the other. Right. But can you, can, you, can you boost good bacteria to essentially help your stomach and, and, and this balance? Right, well, you know, Anthony, that's, I think that's why it's such an exciting idea. I mean, of, of course, we've all heard of probiotics, You've seen the ads mm -hmm. for yogurt and other things. Um, well, the intestine has hundreds of trillions of bacteria in it, good bacteria. Mm -hmm. And they've already been shown to help to balance out our, our nervous system, our immune system. New research shows that by keeping that balance in, in, in check, it can improve our mood, lower stress hormones, and may even be able to play a role in preventing or treating disorders like OCD and anxiety. So that's why we're really honing in on this one now. And what about antibiotics? Because they have kind of the opposite effect, right? Right, Sharon. Well, that's all about the hygiene hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Antibiotics, we know, kill both the good and the ba bad bacteria in our stomach, and we're getting far too many. We take too many antibiotics. The meat we eat is exposed to antibiotics. It's in our soaps. It's in our cleaning supplies. And that over-cleanliness has already been linked with illnesses like allergies, asthma, and now we're wondering whether or not it may play a role in mental illness as well. So what should we do with this information, Holly, today? Well, you know, it's, it's a little too early to trade our Prozac for probiotics. Yes, okay. Um, but it is fair to really focus on what we call prebiotics, which is healthy food that keeps the bacteria in our gut healthy. Uh, so that's fruits, vegetables, whole grains. Um, and really, we should just stay tuned. This is a, actually a really big deal area of research, and we're just at the tip of the iceberg. It always seems to go back to the diet. Nobody ever says, eat more cupcakes. <laughs> Nobody ever says oh, that. With the grains already. Well, I'll say it today. Yes. Just, right. just today. All right. Dr. Thank Holly you. Phillips, thanks so much.